this faith pure in all points will certainly perish forever. Now this is the true Christian faith. We worship one God in three persons, and three persons in one God, without mixing the persons or dividing the divine being. For each person, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, is distinct. But the deity of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is one, equal in glory, and co-eternal in majesty. What the Father is, so is the Son, and so is the Holy Spirit. The Father is uncreated, the Son uncreated, the Holy Spirit uncreated. The Father is infinite, the Son infinite, the Holy Spirit infinite. The Father is eternal, the Son eternal, the Holy Spirit eternal. Yet they are not three who are eternal, but there is one who is eternal. Just as they are not three who are uncreated, nor three who are infinite, but there is one who is uncreated and one who is infinite. In the same way, the Father is almighty, the Son is almighty, the Holy Spirit is almighty. Yet they are not three who are almighty, but there is one who is almighty. So the Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God. Yet they are not three gods, but one God. So the Father is Lord, the Son is Lord, the Holy Spirit is Lord. Yet they are not three lords, but one Lord. For just as Christian truth compels us to confess each person individually to be God and Lord, so the true Christian faith forbids us to speak of three gods or three lords. The Father is neither made nor created nor begotten of anyone. The Son is neither made nor created but is begotten of the Father alone. The Holy Spirit is neither made nor created nor begotten but proceeds from the Father and the Son. So there is one Father, not three fathers, one Son, not three sons, one Holy Spirit, not three Holy Spirits. And within this Trinity, none comes before or after, none is greater or inferior, but all three persons are co-equal and co-eternal, so that in every way, as stated before, all three persons are to be worshipped as one God, and one God worshipped as three persons. Whoever wishes to be saved must have this conviction of the Trinity. It is furthermore necessary for eternal salvation truly to believe that our Lord Jesus Christ also took on human flesh. Now this is the true Christian faith. We believe and confess that our Lord Jesus Christ God's Son is both God and man. He is God eternally begotten from the nature of the Father, and He is man born in time from the nature of His mother. Fully God, fully man, with rational soul and human flesh, equal to the Father as to His deity, less than the Father as to His humanity. And though He is both God and man, Christ is not two persons, but one. One, not by changing the deity into flesh, but by taking the humanity into God. One, indeed, not by mixture of the natures, but by unity in one person. For just as the rational soul and flesh are one human being, so God and man are one Christ. He suffered for our salvation, descended into hell, rose the third day from the dead. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, and from there will come to judge the living and the dead. At his coming, all people will rise with their own bodies to answer for their personal deeds. Those who have done good will enter eternal life, but those who have done evil will go into eternal fire. This is the true Christian faith. Whoever does not faithfully and firmly believe this cannot be saved. We continue with our offerings.
Let's arise for the prayer of the church on this holy Trinity Sunday. Holy, holy, holy is your name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our hearts sing the praise of your name, dear Heavenly Father, for you are our creator and preserver. Especially to remember your great love in sending your own Son and sacrificing up him up for our eternal redemption. Our hearts sing the praise of your holy name, dear Savior Jesus, for the love with which you loved us in suffering and dying on the cross for our sins. In you, the Son of God and the Son of Man, we find hope, joy, in, and pardon and peace. Yes, eternal salvation. Our hearts sing the praise of your name, O Holy Spirit. For you have revealed God's truth to mankind, and through it have called us to faith and forgiveness. Without your continual sanctifying work in us, through the gospel, we could neither grow in our faith and increase in our knowledge and thus not be able to walk pleasing to God by keeping His commandments. Pride in God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we praise you now and forever for your marvelous works, for the undeserved love and mercy with which you continually show towards us. Hear us then when we pray. Forgive our countless sins for the sake of Him who has redeemed us. Forgive us for failing to worship and serve you as we ought. Let your hand of blessing be open to all of us when we call upon you in truth. Nourish us, lest we become weak and faint. Strengthen us, lest we, we give up. Cheer us when we become depressed with the troubles of life. Hold us up, lest we stumble beneath the burdens that afflict like us. Direct our physical and spiritual footsteps, lest we falter and choose the wrong way. Bring us sweet relief from pain and illness. Where encouragement is needed by us, there, apply your faith word. When we need patience and perseverance, bearing our crosses. Then teach us our Savior's own example of enduring suffering. Refresh our memories with all the good things that you continually have done for us and do for us. And open our lips to praise you for all of them. We have daily to search your word so that we might be admonished and warned, as well as instructed and encouraged by its precepts. Our soul is inspired with this message of divine grace and salvation. The ever near to guard us from sin and unbelief so that the devil, the world, and especially our own holy atoms may not have power over us. Make us victorious Christians who are ever and always faithful to your word, faithful to our calling, faithful to you. Impart all needful blessings to our body and souls and do not account of our sins to go your help on us. It's in our Savior, Savior's name, Jesus that we pray his model prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May be seated. We continue with hymn number 597. It's not just a confirmation hymn. It's also a hymn of praise to the triune God. So, hymn number 597.
Help her to remember her baptism every day and find comfort in your promise that you will never leave her or forsake her. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer now. Give her strength to put down and drown the sinful nature that lives within her so that each day her faith may triumph in her living and loving in her, in her words and actions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer now. Lead her to see and believe that in the word of the gospel that she will find forgiveness for her sins and relief for her guilt. Use the remembrance of your commandments to drive her to the comfort of the gospel and then to guide her as she lives for you and others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Protect her from Satan when he tempts her. Be careless with your word, sacrament make plans for this life and not for the life to come, or to find popular theories more appealing than your holy truth, wisdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Empower her by the gospel of your Son to live in her world with kindness, humility, and patience, so that others may see her good works and glorify their Father in heaven. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Help us provide fitting examples of faithfulness to your word and sacraments. Lead us to encourage and admonish her in wisdom and love, even after she has left her home and made new home for herself. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. When the end comes and we all stand before the judgment seat of Christ, have compassion on us despite our many sins, and accept us as eternal dwellers in your royal rooms. To the merits of Jesus our Savior, who became sin for us, so that in Him we may become the righteousness of God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray all of these petitions. Amen. I now invite you to receive a blessing from the Lord and a word of encouragement from His Holy Scriptures. Your passage. Cora Lynn, Patricia Hall, for this reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness knowledge, and to knowledge self-control, and to self-control perseverance. And in perseverance, godliness. May God with his brotherly kindness, brotherly kindness, love. For if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But if anyone does not have them, he is nearsighted and blind and has forgotten. And he has been cleansed from his past sins. Therefore, my sister, be all the more eager to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you will never fall, and you will receive a rich welcome into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 2 Peter, chapter 1, verses 5 to 11. May God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ give you His Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and knowledge, of grace and prayer, of power and strength, of sanctification and the fear of God. May the God of peace sanctify you through and through and keep you blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We continue with the last hymn, hymn number 192.
can be full of faith. Faithful people. Keep us all strong in your grace and truth. Protect and comfort us in every temptation. And bestow on us your saving peace and your power. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Brothers and sisters in Christ, go in peace, live in harmony with each other, but above all, serve your Lord with joy and gladness. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you, be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with his favor and give you peace. Thank you. 